my cars, this is the one that I want to get caught least in the wet. This is like the most sketchy one that I have. It's got open differential, 300 kilowatts. Bro, recipe for disaster. <laughs> Today guys, we're gonna be installing some wheels on the EF Barra, and it's kind of funny to me, and I'll explain to you why. The EF Falcon Barra doesn't really get driven much because there's so many things wrong with it. For some reason, it doesn't like cold start, and the starter is just hating life at the moment. Every time I wanna start this thing as well, I have to go to the boot and connect up the battery, and when I wanna stop the car, I've gotta disconnect the battery, and that's because the fans, for some reason, just don't wanna work, of course. The fans, factory wiring, can connect up, and it was all working before, but now it just doesn't work. The diff is leaking. So much is wrong with it. And that's why I think it's funny that we are gonna be throwing some wheels on the car today. Now, the reason why I wanna put wheels on the car is because I don't like the look of how the EF is right now. And it makes me not wanna drive the thing around. And that's not because I care what other people think. It more is because I have a sort of vision on how I want this car to look like, and it's just not there yet. So it doesn't really deserve me driving it around, if you know what I mean. I really want it to be perfect. I have a hard time half asking things. Anyway, before I show you the wheels, I've got something to show you guys. Guys, I've been waiting about three months now for this shipment and it finally has come, baby. Look at this. We've been changing it up with the designs, trying to keep everything embroidered because you guys love that. The quality is just so much better that way. And on the back, of course, we have a new design, the AU Falcon Banky Spec race car baby this has been in the works for a long time and I'm finally able to release it super comfortable hoodies as you guys know and of course we got that embroidered logo on the front with that golden stitching baby super comfy baby these are going to go live now at bankyspec.com and if you guys are a large cop them quick because large sells out the fastest i'm size large as well so i've already taken one off stock but the au falcon's going to make a return to you guys i promise all right we got to get this thing out of the garage, EF in, switcheroo. And then I'm gonna show you the new wheels for the EF, baby. also have as well on the Banky Spec website are these Banky Spec gloves, guys. Check them out. Limited edition Banky Spec gloves so you can do stuff like this. Oh, oh. All right. Here are our new wheels for the E-Series Barra, baby. These are our Row International wheels. They're five spoke. They're a very good looking wheel. And I wasn't intending to put these wheels on the car originally, but I got them off another car. I thought they looked really good. And I'm a sucker for five spoke. I love five spoke wheels. So we're gonna throw these on. I've already actually test fitted them on off camera. They actually fit really good. And they also come wrapped on a Continental, which is gonna be a lot better in the wet than what we currently have on them. We've got wind runs, 235 wind runs on the back of the EF barrow right now. And that is not gonna hold the power at all. It doesn't even do it in the dry. So this should help us out quite a lot. This is also a 235. On the front of the car as well, we have some Zach Baldies. We got some boldy tires that we need to replace. The Contis are gonna be a lot better. These aren't like a special wheel or anything, but they're gonna make the E-Series look way better. Now, of course, we do need to lower it as well. We won't be lowering it today, but I got some lowering shocks sitting in the back somewhere. And I've also got a bunch of mods that we need to do to the barrel. Anyway, let's get these wheels on. I'm so excited, guys. So we're already running into our first problem. The tire is too big, the offset is too much, and uh, we're hitting the back of the suspension right there. So the wheel is touching this arm. So we're gonna also have to put spaces on. I completely forgot that I had to do that. So we're gonna be running some, some stick boy spaces on the front, and then we should be able to get this thing fitting really good. But you guys can see what I've been dealing with driving this thing around. <laughs> Look how much tread we have on the front tires right here. <laughs> Oh no. When I was doing the Barra swap, I had the car in jack stands for so long that the wheels were just sitting on the car begging to be chewed up. I basically ran through all the stockies that this thing came on, threw them on the AE Falcon and just drifted on them. So that's why we have 
two front runners that are completely fried, no more tread, because the, the car was just sitting on jack stands. Oh, bro, that looks sick. That's honestly like flush with the fender. It's a shame that this thing's sitting so high, otherwise it would look so much better, but... Dude, that's pretty flush. Look at that, that's like in line with the fender right there, but uh... Unfortunately, this thing is so damn high, we need to lower it bad, but I actually ended up doing the rears too. And yeah, we definitely need to run a spacer at the back as well because damn man, there's like, there's almost a fist length that we could pull out to make this thing fit nicer. But for now, we're just gonna run it and hopefully it should be right. But looks really, really nice. I'm stoked. We're gonna drive this thing out now, get it out of the garage and uh, see what it looks like from far away. All right, haven't looked at it yet. Haven't looked at it yet. This is gonna be my honest reaction, guys. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I rate these, no, I rate these. Damn, it's just like kind of tripping me out because this thing's so high up in the air. It's like, it looks like it's on, on stilts or something, but bro, nah, these are sick. I also want to run some spaces on the back too. Yeah, the front fitment is perfect. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some 35 mil spaces for the rear as well. We're also gonna get some lowering springs. That looks freaking awesome. We're gonna take the E-Series for a little run to see if the tires that we have on there are up to standard. Uh, but before we do that, guys, I wanna show you a new sponsored item, a new sponsored tool set for the Rex H Garage, guys. This is our new chicane kit that we'll be using for the end of my days, boys. Honestly, an incredible set. You can pick these up from Autobahn. They're a direct retailer and they have basically everything that you need, including these awesome foam inserts. Look, listen to these ratcheting wrenches, bro. It's not often that you get a kit with ratcheting wrenches, nor a kit with foam inserts. So this kit is just absolutely sick. We basically have all the essentials like long deep sockets, which are of course in the foam set. And we also have like a top piece as well that goes onto the bottom piece of this movable toolbox. Houses all our socket sets and everything. Of course, with all of the high quality chicane gear. Chicane tools are honestly some of the best you can buy, guys. I'm so stoked and we'll be really putting this thing to the test with the amount of builds that come through this garage, so. Leak the socket. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> We're now gonna take the E-Series Falcon for a little bit of a drive. Whoa, the car is so much smoother already with these new tires. That is a much better feeling. Even like steering feels nicer. They're a lot wider at the front, so that's to be expected, I guess. Oh my god, yeah, nah, those tires, these tires ain't it, <laughs> that got squirmy on me quick, and not the good kind of squirmy too. Yeah, wow, okay, so currently they're, yeah, 235s, I'm pretty sure I can fit like a 255 on these rims, I think they're 8 inch wide or something. TR is really not happy going from second to third. I think it's on its way out already. Holy moly. <laughs> it's about to rain, so I gotta be quick, but there you go, guys. There are the wheels. I look pretty damn good. Just need to lower the thing now. Put on some coilovers. Damn, I'm loving this thing. <laughs> they are a 17 inch, by the way. We could go 18 and it would probably fit and look a little bit better, but oh, another problem that I forgot to mention, guys, is that one of the exhaust hangers actually fell off this thing. Basically making the live rear hit the exhaust. There's a big like hole in it now, but exhaust is not mounted on properly too, so we got so much that we need to do to fix this thing. Not bad, though. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, we'll let you in. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. What's going on? No Have a coffee? Yes, please. Coffee, coffee. Are you enjoying your coffee? Coffee is 10 out of 10. 
something you guys don't really get to see unless you follow me on Instagram is that some of the boys come around and help me pack orders. Uh, mostly Peter. This guy. This guy thank is the guy. Thank you boy Peter. Yeah, thank you boy Peter. You excited bro? Yes, very excited. I don't know for what, but I'm very excited. <laughs> That's like what I ask everyone when I don't know what to say to them. I'm just like, are you excited bro? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we got quite a few orders to pack. Really appreciate all of you for uh, grabbing stuff. And we're also doing a little photo shoot later too of the new merchandise, which you saw, um, but. Have a sus guys, these are all going out to you soon. It's not looking good because this whole room's a mess right now, but yeah, thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Happy. Happy Easter, Peter. Aw, oh, thank you, sir. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, anyway, that's about it for today's video, guys. Really appreciate you watching. More EF content coming soon. I'm just waiting for parts. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Peter. Bye-bye. Oh, my God.